It has been a somewhat confusing week for Windows users, administrators and security teams, truth be told. In fact, it's turning into something of a security nightmare, a print nightmare, to be precise. Print Nightmare is the name that has been attached to a zero-day vulnerability impacting the Windows print spooler. A vulnerability that can ultimately, it would appear, lead to an attacker taking remote control of an affected system. The print spooler, which is enabled by default with all Windows installations, is used to schedule your printing jobs, find your printers, load the relevant drivers and so on. The vulnerability, which was only rated as important by Microsoft when it was supposedly fixed by the June 8 Patch Tuesday security updates, was initially described as CVE 20211675. It was an elevation of privilege vulnerability meaning an attacker or malicious user already on a system could gain complete control of that system. That was bad enough, but things then got worse when, on June 21, CVE 2021-1675 became a critical rated vulnerability as it was found to enable remote code execution. Not that it mattered as that Patch Tuesday fix was already in. Except, it would appear, it wasn't. Security researchers, having seen that the print spooler vulnerability had been disclosed and patched, and having been working on a presentation about a Windows print spooler vulnerability for the August Black Hat Convention, went public with their proof-of-concept exploit code. Here's the thing. It now seems that those researchers had actually found an as yet undisclosed vulnerability in the print spooler and inadvertently let loose a Windows Zero Day. This Zero Day has been dubbed Print Nightmare and is attributed as CVE 20213-4527. In a July 1st security update posting, Microsoft confirmed, a remote code execution vulnerability exists when the Windows Print Spooler service improperly performs privileged file operations. An attacker who successfully exploited this vulnerability could run arbitrary code with system privileges. An attacker could then install programs, view, change, or delete data, or create new accounts with full user rights. That attacker would need to be an already authenticated user, Microsoft said, also confirming that Print Nightmare is similar but distinct from the vulnerability that is assigned CVE 2021-1675, which has a different attack vector that was addressed by the June 2021 security update. Microsoft further confirmed that the vulnerable code exists in all versions of Windows, although it is still investigating whether full exploitation can be achieved across all versions. The vulnerability is undoubtedly serious because it allows you to elevate privileges on the local computer or gain access to other computers within the organization's network, Boris Lauren, a senior security researcher at Kaspersky's Great, said.